Welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now 2014. We're in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and I'm joined by Dr. Werner Hoff and Brian Shannon of Dolphin, and Marie Borns of Borns Inc. And we're going to talk about improving business performance. All right, welcome. And so Dolphin is a great ASUG member, ASUG affiliate member, or ASUG Platinum sponsor. You're very active in our chapters. If Brian and Werner, if you could give us a just a rundown of what Dolphin is and what you guys do. All right, I'm happy to do that. Well, what Dolphin does is, is motivated by the observation that although the cost for IT technology has come down constantly over the last 10 years or so, budgets for large organizations running SAP or other complex IT systems actually have gone up. So we think there's a lot of optimization potential there and we feel that there's especially two areas where we can help. One is reducing the uh, total cost of ownership for SAP systems, and we do that by helping our customers move data out of the active environment into a lower cost storage once it's business complete. And the other area is um, helping customers optimize core business processes that are really fundamental for their operations. Great. And Brian, if you could talk about those uh, core business processes. Sure. So we're very interested in making processes that are document-centric and workflow-centric uh, better, uh, simpler and more efficient. And it's not simply about applying technology. It really is about making the process as optimized as possible. Uh, to do that, we utilize uh, SAP tools within the environment, so it's leveraging the investment our customers have already made. And then we work with them to provide an end-to-end -end solution, uh, all the way from capture of documents through to the processing of those, and then to deliver some superior analytics. And we do that for accounts payable, accounts receivable, sales order processing, and a variety of other financial-related functions. Great. And Marie, uh, you were telling me earlier, Borns Inc., a uh, third-generation family company, mm -hmm. and obviously a, a Dolphin customer. If you could uh, tell, give us a little overview of uh, what Borns is doing and what you're doing with Dolphin. Okay, well, Borns is a manufacturer of electronic components that have applications in industries like automotive, uh, consumer products, industrial, and communications. And we, ma we manufacture um, in nine plants around the world. We have 15 locations total. And we our accounts payable is located in each plant. So we previously have had very decentralized accounts payable structure, but what Dolphin's helping us with is to um, move towards creating uh, service centers by geosphere. Great, and, and what about the Dolphin process and, and what, what benefits are you seeing from that Dolphin process that is, are, are benefiting Borns? Well, our uh, CFO looked at our accounts payable department and he saw how manual of a process it was and how much paper we had in our system. So he challenged us that within one year he wanted to see 60% of our invoices being processed touchless, right. which is no accounts payable um, involvement after OCR once it enters SAP, um, SAP workflow. Um, so we turned to Dolphin and a year and a half later we are now at 70% um, proce invoices processed uh, touchless. Wow, wow, so no paper or? No paper, yeah, we've eliminated 100% of the paper that was in our system. That's great. And with, uh, we've reduced our overhead costs and with fewer people we've increased our capacity as well. So we were able to bring invoices that were previously processed offshore, we were able to bring them back in-house. That's great. And I'll transition back to the data management side. And if you sure. could give us, Werner, an example of maybe a customer that, or a customer example that um, is working with your data management solutions. Oh, sure. The, the best examples are probably customers that are running SAP systems which process a very high transaction volume. Right. So whether that's you know, consumer goods or um, companies having SAP connected to some internet stores uh, tremendous amount of transactions coming in and, and you need all the data, but you don't need it in your active system for a very long time. So the approach we have there is we, we take information once it's business complete, use standard SAP archiving technology to store it in a very low cost 
long-term secure storage environment. Um, and then we put add-ons into SAP that allow the end user to view and work with, the, with this information just like it was still online. So the end user doesn't really notice much difference, but the, the cost for storing that information is dramatically reduced. So what, what is, what is, what is the, just the, the benefit that the customer is getting? Is it, is it faster being delivered, this data is being delivered faster than because it's the way it's being stored? How, how does that work? The, the key benefit, I think, is the cost savings by keeping the active system very small and manageable. Right. Think about backup and restore times. Think about the risk of you know, significant loss of, uh, of business if your system goes down and it takes you three, four days to restore that right. if the database is very large. If it's smaller, you're up and running much quicker again. Performance for ongoing transactions is another benefit, of course, if you're, the amount of data you have to look through is smaller, obviously the response times are much better. Right. And Dolphin is on the show floor. If you guys, if you have anything else to add about that. Absolutely, <laughs> Brian <Yes>. knows <laughs> our booth number, so I'll turn that over to you. <laughs> number, number 913. But uh, we're introducing a new mobility app for right. approvals, and uh, we'd love to show showcase those that demonstration, and we also have some additional mini demos we've got scheduled for process and data volume management. Great, that sounds great. Well, um, mm -hmm. I'll definitely have to stop by and check that out. And thank you for joining us. For more SAP stories, head to asugnews.com.